Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and to a new video. Today we are going to talk about the DIG utility. DIG stands for DNS Information Grouper and it's a utility used to troubleshoot and display DNS information. So without too much talking, let's jump into the video. So here we are on the terminal on Arch Linux and we are going to talk, as I said in the intro, about the DIG utility. So the DIG utility in Linux is used to basically gather DNS information. It stands for Domain Information Grouper and as I said, it collects data about domain name servers. Now it can be used for troubleshooting DNS problems, but it can be used of course also to display DNS information. So first of all, we need to make sure that it's installed on our system. Now, depending on your distribution, this is going to vary, but the packages, for example, for Debian Ubuntu based distributions is DNS utils. And the same is also for Arch. And if you're using CentOS or Red Hat, the package is bind-utils. Now here I am on Arch, so I could type in sudo pacman-s and then DNS utils and hit enter. And I need to, of course, authenticate. And you can see here, I have it already installed, so I'm not going to install it right now. So I'm just going to type in N here, and I have already the dig utility installed. The dig utility has many arguments, but the most important ones that we are going to look in this video are the server name and the type. Now, the server argument basically is the host name or the IP address that you are looking for. The name is basically the DNS, the domain name server of the servers to query. And also the type is the type of DNS record you want to look. If you don't specify anything, the dig utility is going to use the A record. So let's do some examples here. Let's type in dig and I'm going to use my website to use this utility. So eflinux.com and hit enter. I'm not going to specify anything else in here. This is just going to be a very simple example. And so we have some informations here. Probably the most important section here is the answer section, which is right here. So here we have our domain name. On the second column here, we have the TTL, the so-called time to leave. This is basically the time frame after which the record is going to be refreshed. The IN here stands for internet and the record type is A because we didn't specify anything else in here. And here we have the IP address of the server. We have also here the header section, which is right here. I'm gonna highlight it for you. This section shows basically information it received from the server. We have also here the opt pseudo section right here. And here we have several lines. So the eDNS parameter basically stands for extension system for DNS, if it's used, otherwise it's not gonna display anything. The flags also, I don't have any because it's not been used. And the UDP section is basically the UDP packet size. We have also here the question section, which is going to display the domain, the type, which is internet, and also the A record. And in the end, we have the statistics. Now for query time, this is the amount of time it took for a response, so it was very quick. The server section is basically the IP address and also the port of the responding DNS server. The when parameter basically is going to refer on the date and time or when you run this command. And the message size received is basically the size of the reply from the server. So this is how the dig utility is structured. Now we can also change this if we pull up the last command with the up arrow and add, for example, another record that we want to check. So I'm going to type in MX. MX is the record for your email. And here you can see we have another answer. The answer here is always referring to the server. We have the time to leave here. We have the internet type, but this time we have the MX record. The zero refers to the priority. And here we have the server, which is pointing to the mail server here. Now, another variation here is let's pull up the last command here and replace MX with plus short. Now, this is going to show you basically only the IP address of the server you're looking for. So this is a short way to display the IP address if you're looking for that. If you are looking only for the answer section, you want to see only the answer section, we can also change this by typing in dick eflinux.com plus no all and then plus answer. And here you will see we have only the answer section that we saw before. So we are going to see the domain. We are going to see the time to leave, the internet type, the A record here, and the IP address. 
Now, another option that can be useful with the dig utility is the trace option. So let me pull up here the last command and replace this parameter with plus trace and hit enter. So this is basically going to show you a list of different servers the query goes through to its final destination. So this can be useful to troubleshoot, for example, if your server cannot be reached, you might see in here where the problem lies. Now, another way to use the dig utility is also to use the reverse DNS lookup. To do this, we can type in dig minus X and then the IP address of the server, which I already copied before. So I'm just gonna paste it in. So as I said before, this basically looks up the domain by its IP address. As I said before, there are many options in the dig utility, so I definitely encourage you to go ahead and explore with dig-h here and explore all of these options. If you are administering a server, for example, or you want to have more information about your DNS server, and if you have a problem, you can troubleshoot with the dig utility. It's fairly simple to understand and it's fairly simple to use as well. As I said, I definitely recommend you to explore this help menu here and I will leave a link in the video description below also to an article which is going to show you more in depth the dig utility and its use cases. But this video should be enough to get you going, so go ahead and explore the dig utility. It's definitely a useful utility to troubleshoot and explore your DNS records. So this was a quick overview about the dig utility. As you've seen in the video, it's a very useful utility to troubleshoot and display DNS information. So let me know in the comments below if you have tried this out. And if you have any question, also let me know in the comments below. I will try to answer you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. I'll see you very soon in the next one.